Hello everybody, hey, hi, how you doing? Jay McCain here coming to you with my extra week coffee for another coffee from T Capistan. Let's watch some Preds, shall we? Oh, by the way, like and subscribe if you like what I do. Dennis Coulson. We are kind of out of the again. rural area. But also because on the law enforcement side of the investigation, Georgia was unique. Uh, not only because of the, the location, we were kind of out in a rural area, but also because on the law enforcement side of the investigation, you had a task force, which was kind of the first time we saw local and federal law enforcement working together. Update on Scooby, he's at exit 25 on I-185. So this is uh, Scooby-Doo. Wig alert, here comes the wig. What? What is the wig even doing at this point? 25. The difference, the difference between like the brunette and the black hair is uh, minor. I On I-185. So this is uh, Scooby-Doo coming for Ivy. Definitely the black wig. Definitely. Black wig. Emily is back for our Georgia investigation, a college student who looks a lot younger than she is. She has now got experience uh, that she didn't have before, and uh, she's become... Uh, very skilled at being our on-site decoy. All right, guys, I'm ready to go. This is what he looks like. Oh, okay. There's the big picture, Scoop. Oh, okay. That's a burn. I like how even Emily is burning them. Emily, was that her name? All right. You look like that. Oh, perfect. Yeah, it'll work well. And everything right. Is my mic on? I, it's red. I, I don't know if that means low battery or what. I think red means I hear you. I think that means check one, two. Yes, Frag? Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Emily, get ready. Slow, 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 spin the camera. Oh, that was him, wasn't it? When you get into a rural area, obviously the challenge is, in many cases, the potential predator actually finding the house. There he is, there he is. There he is. Yay! All right, I mean, he's coming in. Awesome. Frank made such a big production about the fact that he just drove by the house. Slow, 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 turn the camera! Awesome. I'm, I'm ready. 15 seconds later, oh, he comes back from the other direction. He just drove by on accident. He's uh, getting out of the car. Scooby-Doo yeah, at yeah, 101. Hey! Okay. Take you a while to get here. Yeah, well, it's only taking a good direction to where they live. So Somebody can't give good directions. I love negging the decoy. That's a great strategy. Taking stuff out of the dryer, it'll take a second. I make you some sweet tea. Oh, yeah. I have to do something to keep you the You can take a seat. I just gotta finish shaking the stuff out. Alright. <coughs> I like your roster sheet. Say what? So I like your roster sheet. <laughs> I got a roster sheet for my house. Rasta sheet, whatever that is, I have no idea. Apparently it's a sheet you hang up in between doorways. Colson, or Scooby-Doo, walks in and is very comfortable as he comes into the house. Uh, even talking about how goofed up her directions were. Goofed up. If somebody could give better directions, I'd have been here sooner. And uh, he jokes and, and uh, you know, then I come out. And uh, the situation's not so funny anymore. Do you have a hard time finding the place, or yeah, man. why don't you have a seat right over there? I'm good, thank you. I'm gone. You got lost, huh? Yeah, who are you? Yeah. Well, who are you? I'm Dennis. Dennis, why don't you have a seat, Dennis? Yeah, Do me what, a favor. What's going on? What made you get in a car on a Saturday ah. night this late and drive an hour and a half to come to this house? I don't know, I was just bored and hanging out. Just bored? Um, yeah, that's it. Bored and wanted to hang out. Yes, sir. So how did you meet this girl? On the internet. On the internet. Mm -hmm. And what did you guys talk about? Just a lot of different things that I shouldn't have been talking about. Give me an example. Ask her if she's a virgin. And well, why I would you ask have, that question of a 15-year-old really girl? Have, I don't know. I'm sorry. I apologize. But I really did not have any plans of doing anything tonight. I, 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 I did not have a, any plans of doing anything at all tonight. I did you bring condoms? No, no, sir. I have condoms in my car. Spoken truly, articulately, and eloquently. 
Okay. You had well then, so you did bring condoms. Yes, but I did not buy them. From so the answer to that question would be what? Yes, sir. You brought condoms. Yes, but they are. This guy is quite nervous. Let's go back and hear that again. I love how Chris Hansom absolutely judos him into giving the answer he wants. Did you bring condoms? No, but they're they're, they're in the car. So then you brought them. Why would you ask that question of a fifteen-year-old really girl? Have, I don't know. I'm sorry. I apologize. But I really did not have any plans of doing anything tonight. I, 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 I did not have a, any plans of doing anything at all tonight. I did you bring condoms? No, no, sir. I have condoms in my car at all. You had, well, then, so you did bring So Bob says, lull his hat. His hat is the same that a different predator, predator, one of these guys, showed up wearing in a California sting. The exact same hat. It says Ireland. Condoms. Yes, but I did not buy them from So the answer to that question would be what? Yes, sir. You brought condoms. Yes, but they are for my, I mean, I have them for safety. For what? For safety purposes. For airbags in the car? <laughs> exactly. For yeah. No, it's for, for... What is with the Predator sneakers, man? If I run into a girl that I'm going to have sex with, it, you know. Then you say, so do you ever masturbate? Um, to a 15-year-old girl? What positions have you tried? Hang on one second. What positions have you tried? Oh, no, I'm an idiot. You know how to ride? You like doggy? And then you ask. Oh, God, stop. Okay. Just okay. one more. What you say, do you, saying, you ask okay, if you delete all those IMs when you're done? I'd hate to have your mom get nosy. I think it finally hits him that, you know, my God, I'm caught here. You know, there's no way out of this now. And he's pacing and calling himself stupid and questioning why he did it. Just, okay, look, just put this down and just explain to me what's going to happen tonight. I'm going to jail. That's what I'm asking. I am not in charge of whether or not you go to jail, but here's what I can tell you. Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story okay. on guys, uh, men, trying to meet <laughs> teens on the Internet. Now, you are obviously free to walk out of this house but if there's anything else you'd like to tell us about what went on here tonight and what you... It's like I am? <laughs> I'm free to walk out of this house? You did on the internet. We'd like to hear it. It was stupid. ruh -ru shaggy. Yeah, exactly. You know, I'm a stupid man. That's, I mean, I do apologize. It's a very stupid thing, thing for me to do, but I really did have no plans of doing anything tonight at all. I just want to hang out. I know somebody. I have no plans. I... I, I, I The Harris County Sheriff's Department was set up in, in like a playroom or game room next to our house. And by the time he got ready to go, the Harris County Sheriff's Department and the rest of the task force uh, agents were in position to make the arrest. On the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Put your hands behind your back! Put your hands behind your back! God, don't take me to jail. Please stop taking me. Please don't take me to jail. What do you think is going to happen right now? You just got tackled by the police. They're taking you to jail, no matter what. Thank you. What's up, man? How you doing? Doing pretty good? I just can't talk, huh? You sit there with a straight face. It'll be hard sometimes. Filming people in this up situation. Yeah, you want to laugh. You, know, you got to get a little giggle off sometimes. I know you're just sitting there laughing inside. Thinking. Do we get to say I'm say I'm I'm the hamburger helper? Hey kids, don't f up. <laughs> it's a bad idea. Hamburger helper, helper man. That's I love that moment. Hamburger helper man. He sounds like um. Doctor Steve Brule a little bit. <laughs> it's a bad idea. Hamburger helper, helper man. <laughs> it's a bad idea. Hamburger helper, helper man. One more time. Idea. Hamburger helper, helper man. All right, let's watch one more. Let's watch one more. This is a short one. The lonely predator. Are more suspected predators on the way. This man pulling into our driveway is 38-year-old David Hilvish. He builds tunnels. In the chat, he had uh, he mentions... Uh, he builds tunnels. Uh, ...molesting another 15-year-old. He's been chatting with a decoy, pretending to be 14. He says he'd rather not come to her home. He'd like to take her to a hotel. 
What the hell? Have I been doing like a picture in picture thing this whole time? How did I even do that? Whoops. Emily, wave him in. Here he comes. Good job. Good job. We got him coming. Online, using the screen name Tunnels 12,000, he tells the decoy named Tracy in Excess this isn't his first time meeting a teen on the internet. I did it with a 15-year-old before, and I came real close to getting caught. I didn't have sex with her, everything but. He later says he was questioned by detectives, but never charged. I almost got in trouble for doing exactly the same thing, so let me do it again. Now, he wants to have sex with Tracy. I want all of you, Tracy, in every way. You show me, okay? Hey! Come on in! I made you some sweet tea. Oh, well, I'm just gonna throw this in the dryer real quick, or everything's gonna get up. Wrinkles. Yeah, that guy's aggressive. Do you have a seat right over there, please? How you doing? Good. Good. So when I confront the 38-year-old, his memory seems a bit foggy. And so you were chatting with a girl named Tracy. Right. And how old is Tracy? I don't have no idea. The problem. This guy loves the U.S. Open. For you, David, is that I have the chat right here. How old are you again? Not sure if I read that right. 14. She says she's 14 right here, Ryan. I guess so. So what you said before was not true. Correct. Okay. Have you ever done this before? No. Have you ever been with an underage girl before? No, not sexually, no. I did it with a 15-year-old before, and I came real close to being caught. Right. We stay out all night and fall asleep in my oh, truck. I didn't break the law that I knew of, and the police officer told me that. Like, let's get loud all of a sudden. And and why? I don't know what the law is, but he didn't. He questioned me. I went back home that night, and he called me Monday. When I read him some of what he wrote in his chat log, he first tries to blame the girl. I would do it in a minute with you, hoping I would stay out of jail. You ask her if she likes oral sex. And she asked me several things also. Does that make it right? No, and she invited me here. So because a 14-year-old girl invites you to come over, it's okay for her. Uh... All the power was in the hands of the 14-year-old girl. I am helpless in the hands of a 14-year-old girl. It's wrong. I admit I'm wrong. Why did you do it? There is no reason. I'd want to stay all night. Did you bring uh, any alcohol with you? Yeah. Yeah. And what did you bring exactly? Exactly what she asked. When I ask him what his plan was here tonight, uh, what did she, what did he, what did she ask for? What did he bring? I want to know. I love hearing these alcohol orders. He says he's so not really sure. If this 14-year-old girl was willing to have sex with you, would you have had sex with her? I can't say for sure. I never did with that other girl, and that's the reason why. And that's the reason why why she was underage. Aren't there any girls or women of, of a legal age that you could date? I mean, I what? Have a fiance. Huh? I have a fiance. Oh, you have man. a fiance. He's got a fiance. He's out there cheating around with 14 year olds. Nice. Nice. I think maybe the wedding's going to be off. And how do you suppose this is going to play when she finds out about this? It's not going to play at all. Now it's time to tell Tunnels 12,000 what he's walked into. I need to tell you that I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and, and we're doing a story on adults who meet teens online and then try to meet them in person for sex. If there's anything else you want to tell us about this situation... Uh, you know, I can understand why y'all legally been able to do this. Oh, we can. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand how legally you all are able to do this. Well, we can. <laughs> I can't understand why y'all legally been able to do this. Oh, we can. Okay. Well, we can. <laughs> Just because you don't understand doesn't mean we're not able to. Now, then he says he'd like to say something more. I just need to uh, stay off the internet, maybe. He says he's not a predator. 
He's a lonely man raising two children alone who uses the internet to meet women. The predator is somebody that constantly does that. I don't do that. I would prefer to have someone my age that would prefer to have me. But if some female offer, makes an offer to you and you're lonely already, it's tempting for a person. What made the Why are you so lonely? You have a fiance. It's so tempting for you. Being lonely. Anything else you'd like to tell us? No. Are y'all gonna get me arrested when I leave? Had he seen our previous reports, he would know exactly what's going to happen next. Sheriff's office, get on the ground! Get on the ground now! This is what you get for not watching my television show and driving up the ratings. Get out! Get out! Get on the ground! Lay down! Lay down! All right, David Charles Hilbish. Are they watching NASCAR on that TV? It kind of looked like they were. It's Georgia, after all. I don't think the TVs turn off. They just, when you press the off button, they change over to NASCAR. Uh, all right, thank you for watching. If you like what I do, like and subscribe. Um, until next time, I've been Jay McCain. Mind, body, spirit, harmonious resonance. Be where your feet are. Stay water, my friends.